All right, uh, today I'm going to do a little video on the Polaroid Pola Printer slide copier uh, that was made by Polaroid many years ago uh, at this point. With the purpose being to uh, make a print onto the standard 100 series pack film from a 35 millimeter mounted slide. Um, you can use any pack film that you have. Uh, I'm going to use some of the modern Fuji color stuff here, but uh, in theory, you could try any of the older pack film that you still have, provided the uh, developer jelly is still still good. So this um, unit here has a just basic power switch. When you turn it on, there's a sort of a, a little light table, and you can put your mounted slide on there and look at it and um, make sure that that's what you want to make an enlar enlargement out of. Uh, it has an adjustment here. I, as far as I know, that's for changing the orientation of the slide, but I'm not entirely sure. I don't have the manual for this. Um, there's an exposure setting and a contrast setting. I've got them set just pretty pretty basic. And there's a timer function up here, 30 or 60 seconds, which is really just an automatic timer with a beep that starts once you pull the print from the pack. Um, the Fuji stuff needs 90 seconds to develop, so after I make the print, I'll just pause the video and let that process and then uh, take a look at it. Um, these mounted slides I found recently, the box of them, they're from 1996. They're uh, a roll that I shot on Polaroid's Polychrome at the time, which was their instant 35 millimeter slide film, which came with the film roll and the developer pack, and you would load those two after you were done exposing the roll into either the manual crank processor that they had called the auto processor or the power processor which was the electric version. I have both of those somewhere if I can ever get a hold of a pack of the instant slide film that is still good I'll uh, do a video on it I guess. But after all this time the slides are still fantastic. They look uh, well preserved and they they look as good um, you know as a roll of ectochrome would from that point in time so basically what you do is you, you use a light table look at the slide decide that you uh, you want to make a print out of that one you insert it down into the slide carrier here the emulsion f facing you so that the light is going to shine through the base of the slide. Make sure your exposure, your contrast are set where you want it and that there's actually film in there and hit this magic red button and you can see that it's just a glorified uh, flash and shutter box basically. Um, so I'm going to try to pull this out with one hand here. So, obviously now we have a print to pull out. Um, the timer will automatically start once that exits the uh, the printer, but I'm going to go ahead and pause the video now, pull it out and time it for 90 seconds, and then I'll resume the video. All right, I'm going to resume it now because 60 seconds is upon us, just so you can see what this does when uh, time is up, and that's basically it. We've got 30 seconds left on our our print here.
So there's your standard uh, pack film print. Let's give it a couple more seconds here and then we'll peel it open. All right. And there you go. So that actually uh, resembles the slide fairly well. Um, because of the because of the the blue uh, concentration in there, the sky and all the clouds, I uh, set the exposure to expose just a little bit longer. I had made a test print prior, and it was very, very light, which in fact is over here. That was the test test print with just base exposure and really no contrast correction. But that's uh, that's the device. So. Not too much information out there on the internet about this thing, but pretty neat. If you like Polaroid stuff and you see one, pick it up. I got this at a flea market for uh, $10. So, all right. Thanks.